One more time shall we lift up our two hands and give God thanks for his good hand upon us all through the month of March, or the month of May. Give him thanks and praise. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. Amen. Giving thanks always, always for all things. So it's never too much. It's never too much. It's never too much. It's never too much. Giving thanks is never too much. Giving thanks always for all things. You know how much it takes you to mention all things? For all things. For all things. The service, I will bless the Lord at all times. At all times. And his prayer shall continually be in my mouth. Did anybody find any word from heaven in the month of May? In the month of May? Did God speak anything to you? Did any word enter into your spirit? Did you encounter light yes. in one area of your life or another? Every scripture found is a treasure that creates a future. The Lord sent a word into Jacob and turned a nation out of him. Would you lift up your two hands and thank God for the word? Thank God for access to light Thank you for illumination. Thank him for revelation. Thank him for grace to walk in the light and revelation you got. Blessed be your name, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You don't know the value of the word until you engage with it. I found Matthew 6, 33 in 1976. And it's still like tonic to my spirit. Every truth found when engaged with creates a future. Grace to engage with the light you have caught. Since the 40 day post resurrection season and all through the month of May, grace to engage with them all the days of your life, receive it now. Amen. Since the word entered me on God's plan for prosperity, 1982, and I received grace to engage with it, it's speaking louder in my life every day. I've never added anybody's thing to mine, not even church thing to mine. And I've never had to beg. Every truth found, when engaged with, creates a future. May everything you have found till date, particularly since this post-resurrection time of infallible proofs began, and now, all through the month of May, grace to engage with it. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, Lord, thank you for another season that is at the door. Thank you, Jesus. thank you for your word that is coming our way today. Amen. Let each one have a definite encounter at this time. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. It's my year of breaking limits. Awesome. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. And please, you may be seated. It's a good thing to give thanks to the Lord and to sing his praises because the most high God. To show forth his love and kindness every morning and his faithfulness every night. To date we have had testimonies of 84 corona cases healed. <laughs> And this report came in from 14 different countries. 
including United Kingdom, with 20 cases. <laughs> Canada, with 13 cases. United States, with 18 cases. Germany, three. Italy, two. Ireland, two. Russia, one. Qatar, one. Burkina Faso, one. Cameroon, three. Kenya, two. UAE, four. Saudi Arabia, one. Nigeria, four. Give them a prayer. Kabi Osi Baba, Ireni Onishaya, Dance Akire, we praise you, Lord. You are worthy to be praised. Oba, 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 Titi Aye, Oba, Oba. That's the God we serve. Awesome God. Unstoppable God, irresistible God. The ruler of the entire world. God that knows no boundaries. We celebrate you, Jesus. All these are the raw acts of God in the midst of his people. Amen. Amen. We have also received about, we have received 25 testimonies of post-resurrection te encounters. Amen. 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 The reason we share testimonies is to preserve them. Yes. You don't give glory to my name, it's our cause of blessings. The reason we give testimonies is to multiply them. Every testimony released is a seed of testimony sown, and the harvest is sure coming back. The reason we give testimony is to see them perfected. That leper return and with a loud voice glorify God and say, You are made whole. Everybody was cleansed, but he was made whole. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We serve a God of times and seasons. And he makes all things beautiful in his time. His seasons are recurrent as natural seasons of life. Planting seasons for various crops are recurrent. They come in year after year. Harvest season are recurrent. There's a time to plant and there's a time to pluck up that which is planted. In such seasons, one after another, to carry out his purpose among men. Why is winter and summer recurrent? They are the set seasons of God. Why are dry seasons and rainy seasons recurrent? They are the set times of God. So we serve a God of times and seasons. And we're about to enter another divine season in the body of Christ. That somebody has not seen it or something is not there. It only means he's yet to see it. The psalmist said, Thou art the fountain of life, and in thy light shall we see light. In thy light shall we see life. For with thee is the fountain of life. And in thy light shall we see light. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. We have in scriptures the sons of Issachar that have understanding of the times. First Chronicles 12 and verse 32. So also we have in the body of Christ today apostles, prophets, and teachers, and evangelists, and pastors. But the Lord will do nothing, but he reveals his secrets to his servants, the prophet. Amos 3, 7. So God's prophets are God's timekeepers in the body of Christ.
And the Lord visited Sarah as he has said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he has spoken. For Sarah conceived and bare Abraham a son in his old age at the set time of which God has spoken. It's not just a God of times and sins, a God of set times. Amen. 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 We had prophet Habakkuk praying. Revive thy work, O Lord, in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make known, you put thy power, and in wrath, remember mercy. In the midst of the years, revive thy work. No prophecies or private interpretation. Holy men speak as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. That's the Holy Ghost saying, revive thy work in the midst of the year. And the midst of the year, arithmetically, is very simple. We have a year of 12 months. So you pick June and July, and then you have five months on this side and five months on this side. But much more than that, another book of revival in scriptures, there are quite many of them. <laughs> we have Jonah, it's a book of revival. We have Sephaniah, it's a book of revival. We also have Zechariah, it's a book of revival. Amen. In Haggai chapter 1, it talks about in the sixth month, the first day of the month. Amen. And then in chapter 2, verse 1, in the seventh month. So you find the sixth month and the seventh month here being set times for a spiritual awakening. Why chapter 1 deals with repositioning God's people to serve God and the interests of his kingdom? Chapter 2 comes out with the outcome of it. An outbreak of revival. Amen. Amen. Who among you saw the glory of this house in the first said, How do you think? It is nice like nothing. But thus said the Lord. Once again I will shake the heavens and the earth. Desire of all nations shall come. Praise God. And will fill this house with glory, said the Lord of hosts. The glory of this little house shall be greater than the former, said the Lord of hosts. And in this place I will, will I give peace. Now you see, an outbreak of revival followed the repositioning of God's people in chapter 1. These people say the time is not yet to build the house of the Lord. So they went about doing their own thing. It is so when they earn wages, I put holes in their pockets. When they bring in profit, I blow it on it. Why? Because of my house that lies in rain and you run everyone to his own house. Go to the mountain, verse 8, and build his house. Go to the mountain. Go up to the mountain and bring wood and build the house. And I will take pleasure in it. And I will be glorified, said the Lord. That is, begin to walk my walks. Then you have a change of story. Can I hear your amen? amen. Therefore, the heaven of will stay from you and the earth from yielding our fruit. And I call upon drought upon the works of the heart. Upon not the labor of the hands. Amen. Amen. God is calling his people to return back to him. To serve him and the interest of his kingdom. And then he said the result will be an outbreak of revival that will fill the house of God with the glory of God. Can I hear your amen? amen? So until you fall in line with chapter 1, you are not a partaker of chapter 2. Chapter 1 first and then chapter 2 follows. Therefore, the midst of this year, the, the year season that we are entering into tomorrow is your season of divine visitation. Amen. Also, we saw that the midst of the year is a season for the raw manifestation of the power of God. In chapter 3 of Habakkuk, the revival chapter, verse 4, he said, and his brightness was as the light. He had horns coming out from his hand, and there was the hiding of his power. God is just un unraveling the hidden powers of heaven to his people that would scatter all everlasting mountains standing before them and not perpetual he is. That would result in massive salvation of souls, verse 13, and we change. The story of his people supernaturally. Bringing them to their high places. Can I hear your amen? amen? Well, that's just telling you how we need to reposition to maximize this prophetic season. 
the months of June and July, the midst of the year months, the months of the raw manifestation of the power of God, the month of massive salvation of souls, Amen. the month of dramatic change of story Amen. for God's people. No one here will miss it. Amen. Therefore, refuse to sell off this awesome season to a morsel of meat. Engage with all intent and purpose. It's your season. It's not for the church. It's for you. Remember, God does not bless groups. He blesses individuals. Thou shalt serve and God shall bless If he shall serve, you have committed God to bless. And when God blesses, no devil can curse. And I will bless thee. And bless them that bless thee. And him that causes thee, I will cause. You don't need to fight anybody causing you. You just stay under the blessing. And God will be the one causing them on your behalf. Yes, God will be the one causing them on your behalf. Yes, and what keeps under the blessing is serving God. Thou shalt serve. If ye shall serve, God shall bless. God does not promote groups. He promotes individuals. You gave me one pound. I've made ten pounds more. Okay. Thou good, faithful servant. Half the authority over 10 cities. He gave them one by one and he lifted them one by one. John, I mean, that's Luke chapter 19 and verse 17 to 19. God does not honor groups, he honors individuals. He that serves me, him with my father. I pray that no one will play away this season and no one will have to regret a nonchalant approach to this season. It's your season. Amen. I say it's your season. Amen. It's your season. Amen. It's your season. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Please know that every revival season is work. They work. In Haggai chapter 2, verse 4, he said, Yet now be strong, O Zerubbabel, said the Lord. And be strong, O Joshua, the son of Joseph, the high priest. And be strong, all ye people of the land, said the Lord. And walk, and walk, for I'm with you, said the Lord of hosts. And walk, and walk, and walk, for I'm with you. And walk. That individual has been under the siege of the spirit of lust for 13 years. But he got into it. He's gone for all kinds of all kinds of deliverances. But he got into partnership with Jesus and was liberated supernaturally. Yeah. And walk. A business is crawling and you engage with Jesus and then boom. And open heaven. And walk. And walk. In 2 Chronicles chapter 15 and verse 7, that great revival that came in the times of King Asa. Be ye strong therefore, and let not your hands be weak, for your work, your work shall be rewarded. Revival time is work time. It's work time. Therefore, for your fruitful stewardship in this season, you will sing a new song. Amen. For engaging intensely the prayer altar in advancing the interests of the kingdom, praying for souls to be saved, praying for the saved to be established in the faith, praying for new converts to keep going stronger by the day, praying for the power of God to be manifest in every of our services, praying for the needs of the saints to be met, And investing of your time and resources in promoting the kingdom of God, you will sing a new song. Amen. You will sing a new song. Amen. 
you will sing a new song. Amen. You will sing a new song. Amen. Let me hear your loudest. Amen. Amen. That's the season that is just next door, a few hours from now. Therefore, receive grace to make the most of this prophetic season in your pursuit of God Amen. and the interest of his kingdom. Amen. The seventh day fast begins tomorrow. When you hear first, you don't say first somewhere here. First is tomorrow. First is starting tomorrow and it's all the way through to Sunday. Know that the word of God is not bound. Your prayer closet is private and personal to you. Amen. Amen. Your contacts are private and personal to you. There is no policy under heaven that will tell you not to call your friend or call your neighbor. So nothing stops you from going on. I once shared here that our new converts that we had opened. 82 new cells for them during the lockdown. You can see how locked they did, how locked down they were. Amen. Amen. Please engage. Amen. A slot man, a slot man says there's a lion outside. There's nothing outside. There is nothing outside stopping you from engaging with this prophetic season. It shall be awesome. Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. One of us led someone to Christ and then uh, it, the woman, and he said to the woman prophetically, your house will soon become a house fellowship. Ah, he said, don't touch that area. My husband is far away from anything Christ. He said, well, you have heard me. Your house will soon become a house fellowship. So he went to three days of prayer and fasting. The man himself said, I'll go to church. And that was it. The whole family is now saved. Amen. So this seven day fast must produce results. Amen. Target at least one day for one soul. Jesus, I want you to establish one soul for each day of this seven day fast in my life. So by the end of this prophetic season, I have seven standing souls in your house celebrating you and worshiping you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You know, when a strong man keepeth his palace, his goods are at peace. When a stronger than he shall come upon him, he will take away the arms in which he trusts and will let go his captives. So we're going to set free every captive of hell Amen. that's been held down by the devil yes, sir. from sin the light. Can I hear your amen? amen? So shall it be. Amen. Remember, prayer does not only change things, prayer changes people. Yes. Many will come out of this season fully transfigured. Amen. Fully transfigured. Amen. The taste for anything ungodly will be destroyed forever. Amen. The taste for anything corrupt will be, de will be destroyed forever. Amen. The taste for anything that defies will be destroyed forever. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. so shall it be. Give the Lord a big hand of prayer. So in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, yes, Lord. whose I am and whom I serve, the same way Matthew 63 changed my story forever. And that happened in 1976. And the effect is still speaking today. May your encounters in this awesome prophetic season of June and July be forever in your life. Amen. Don't ask God for anything yes, sir. in these seven days. Yes, sir. Be sold out to the advancement of his kingdom and you will see him make you stand out supernaturally Amen. in the race of life. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I can tell you dates, years, and months of the various fasting expeditions I've had. None had to do with anything personal. Yet, I've not lacked anything that a person should think of. Have I ever prayed, oh God, give me food? Not once. Oh, God, give me a house. Not once in my life. 
Not once. Oh God, give me a car. In fact, I said to God one time, I said, won't you be patient for someone to pray before you answer? Mm. I just thought of it that if we have a bigger car, we'll gain better speed as we run from one place to another. And when you are riding a beetle, you have to be careful. Because when a, 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 a trailer is coming in the opposite direction, and you are coming, you better slow down or park. <laughs> because the wind that is coming along with you can take your car and throw it out. No. The engines are at the back. So there's nothing in front. <laughs> I was just thinking so on Abuja Road, moving from Kogi State to Abuja, on that trip. And I got home to meet a car. And I said, God, can't you be patient for someone to pray? You, when you are all out for the kingdom, it's all out for you. Somebody was going on a mission. I said, Jesus, I have a pigeon car I would like to give to this individual. The following day, somebody brought me a pigeon car and called my secretary. My secretary who had me when I said it came to me and said, you know something, sir? I said, what? He said, somebody just brought a pigeon car. I said, that's for that man. <laughs> I didn't tell the kitty tomorrow. Yes, it went to him directly. Sir, seeking the things of the kingdom commits God to keep adding to you whatever you desire. Amen. I didn't need that for myself. He knows. And if I took it for myself, I'll be dead. He brought it for me to sow it to where I wanted to sow it. So this entire seven days devoted to what you want to see God do with you in this prophetic season. At least seven established souls both in the kingdom and in this church and he will grant you the answer. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Very quickly this morning, we are running up our teaching series for our Sunday services for the month of July, the month of May, on commanding the supernatural. And today we are focusing on commanding the supernatural by the power in the name of Jesus. Commanding the supernatural by the power in the name of Jesus. May I lift up your right hand, please. And ask for God for grace to maximize this prophetic season. Ask God for grace to maximize this prophetic season. Many stars will emerge. Grace to, be, to emerge as one of the stars. From this prophetic season, I receive grace not to be an onlooker, but a full and bona fide partaker of the blessings that this season carries. I receive it. Come and receive that. Receive it right now. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. It's done. Amen. Unusual grace is released upon your life. Amen. Unusual grace is released upon your life. Amen. It shall be the most awesome season till date in your Christian life. Amen. You will be grossly visited. Amen. You will experience raw visitation of the Almighty God. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. How much power is in the name of Jesus? In the book of Philippians chapter 2 and verse 9, we want to understand the source of that name. The source is so important to understand the fruits that it bears. Wherefore, God, let's start from verse 5. Let this mind be in you, which also was in Christ Jesus. Who, being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of his servant and was made in the likeness of man. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore, God also has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every name should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 
So the name is a gift of the Father. And his gifts and callings are without repentance. Romans eleven twenty nine. 29. It's a gift of the Father. And the gift and callings of God are without repentance. Second Kings chapter 13 and verse 21, 20 and 21. And Elisha died and they buried him. And the band of the Moabites invaded the land at the coming end of the year. And it came to pass as they were burying a man that behold they spied a band of men. And they cast the man into the sepulchre of Elisha. And when the man was let down and touched the bones of Elisha, he revived. Still upon this view. The gifts and callings of God are without repentance. The gift in Elisha was still speaking. In his death, through his dry bones, through his dry bones, the gifts and the callings of God are without repentance. They are without repentance. This is very vital. This is very crucial. That's the source of that name. The irrevocable gift of God is in that name. You know how much power is in it? The council of Jerusalem stood up. Speak no more. Say nothing anymore in that name. That's how much power. But that is spread no more, no further among the people. Let us straightway threaten them that they speak henceforth to no man in this name. It's not the speaking, it's the name. The name. You know why? The father judged no man. But has committed all judgment on the son. John 5, 22. He has given him authority. John 5, 27. To execute judgment also. Because the son of man. So, so that name is loaded. With power and authority. With what? Power and authority. That name is loaded with power and authority. You know, the people kept asking, who gave you this authority? Power and authority. For with power and authority commanded he, the evil spirit, and they went out. Yes. That name is pregnant with power and authority. Thank you, Jesus. Number two, the name is self-anointed to deliver. For the Father gave the Spirit unto him without measure. John 3, 34. For he whom God has sent, speaketh the words of God. For God giveth not the Spirit by measure unto him. There is immeasurable anointing on that name. In fact, the word Christ means the anointed one. The anointed one. The ultimate anointing of God resides in that name. Yes. So it's called the anointed one. He was anointed with the oil of gladness above his fellows. All his garments, mares of cassia and maya and aloes out of the ivory palaces. Peter said to Aeneas, Jesus Christ, make a deal, whole, arise, and make thy bed. And what happens? And he arose immediately. The anointing of that name got him up. The anointing upon that name got Aeneas up. There is no, it is written there. Praise God. Amen. Jesus Christ, make a deal, whole. Arise and make thy bed, and he arose immediately. There is a measurable anointing of that name that sets free, that delivers, and makes things happen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Number three. 
The name puts us in command of the supernatural. In Mark chapter 16, verse 17, and these signs shall follow you that believe. In my name you shall cast out devils. These signs shall be at your command. In my name. So the name of Jesus puts us in command of the supernatural. The apostles prayed in chapter 4 of Acts of the Apostles and verse 30. Let's start from verse 29, please. And now, Lord, behold their threatenings and grant unto thy servant that with all boldness they may speak the word. By searching for thy hands to heal and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of the Holy Child Jesus. So it's the name that puts us in command of the supernatural. Now, Peter said, why look here on us as if by our own power or holiness we made this man whole? And his name, through faith in his name, has made this man strong, whom ye see and know. Yea, the faith that is by him has made him, has given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. The name puts the believers in command of the supernatural. The name puts us in command. So it's important to build faith into that name when confronted by issues of life. Build faith. Consciously build faith. Don't just call that name as one of those religious statements you make. Amen. Amen. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Call the name with your Faith in what that name carries. This name puts me in command of the supernatural. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, open up. Then it will open. Can I hear your amen? amen? Well, everything manifests his name. Praise God. Hallelujah. God had to change the name of Abraham to Abraham. He had to change the name of Sarai to Sarah. Amen. Amen. And his name shall be called Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sin. It's not Joseph who named him. It's not Mary who named him. She shall bring forth a son and thou shalt call his name. What? Jesus. The name that is named by the mouth of God. Where he shall save his people from their sin. Glory to God. Amen. By the word of the Lord in Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called what? Wonderful. Capital letter W. Wonderful. Counselor. The mighty God. The everlasting Father. The Prince of Peace. One day, during the construction of the faith tabernacle, they were trying to bring in some cranes that will help us lift the trusses. But meanwhile, uh, we have closed ourselves up by the beam across the door, and we have finished the floor, reinforced concrete floor. So the question is, this thing is higher than the space available. Jesus, there must be a way out. Then I asked them, excuse me, how much height are you looking for? They say six inches. How high are the tires of the crane? So, so much. Lick the cranes. Lick the tires. Draft in the thing. Pump it back. So, the engineering of how to cut the beam, how to dig the floor, oh God, his name shall be called Cancelor. Cancelor. 
counselor. In those days when we go to preach, there are questions and answers because the congregation is not much. <laughs> so you go to a conference, you finish teaching there, there are questions and answers. <laughs> so, so somebody asked, he said, Sir, Isaiah 63, I mean 66 verse 3 says, He that killeth an ox as if he slew a man. I said, Jesus, I must be aware of that. <laughs> I said, start from verse 1, my friend. And as we started from verse 1, he too was laughing. <laughs> His name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Everlasting Father, the Mighty God, the Prince of Peace. Yeah. Now, that means the name is stuffed with wonders. Is full of wonders. Full of wonders. Full of wonders. The name is full of wonders. The name is full of wonders. They understood that in Jerusalem when that man is saying that a notable miracle has been done, we cannot deny it. Let's don't talk about that. It's hard to stop it that we need to do. It. <laughs> We got, I mean, don't mind them. What is coronavirus? Coronavirus has been hit in 14 countries. Within the short period, what is the whole world is jittery about and cheating and urinating all over the place? Amen. Jesus just cleaned them all. If we have a global platform now to read the world and give them a bottle of oil, each one to get a bottle of oil, that's the end of it. All this trouble they are going about. And I help you to see what is in that one yes. by the word of the Lord. And you take a shot of it. You just walk into Freedom Street instead of sleeping in the hotels. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> now, let me tell you this, and I'm telling you the truth in Christ. In these end times, the world will start seeking prophetic intervention. Yes. I'm telling you the truth. The world will start seeking prophetic intervention because most problems will be far beyond any human capacity. Thank you, Jesus. The name of Jesus is pregnant with wonders. So when you engage that name by faith, wonders erupt. Can I hear your amen? amen. Let me hear your amen. Amen. Also, we have come to discover that the name of Jesus is a strong tower. The righteous runs into it and is safe. Is safe. Strong tower. The name is our shade and our buckler. Against all the evils of the day. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The disciples return. With joy saying, even devils were subject to us in your name. They went in the name. They went with the name. And Jesus said, I give unto you power to tear upon servants and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy. Nothing shall be enemies haunt you. So the name is our strong tower. In my name. You shall cast out devils. You shall speak with new tongues. You shall take up serpents. And if you drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt you. In my name. In my name. So the name is a strong tower against the serpents of life. Against the food poisoners. The name. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, That's why I say, whatever thing you do, in word or in deed, do all in the name. Glory to God. Do all in the name. Do all in the name. Do all in the name. As you engage the name, the wickedness of the wicked is neutralized. Amen. The poison of the wicked is neutralized. Amen. Do all in the name. 
And number six, the name opens impossible doors. The name does what? Opens impossible doors. You know, lift up your heads, ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting door. That the King of Glory might come in. Who is the King of Glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of Glory shall come in. Who is the King of Glory? The Lord of hosts is the King of Glory. And you know his name shall be called King of Kings. A Lord of Lords. Every door opens to him on their own accord. Yes. Revelation 3, 7. He has the key of David. He opens and no man shuts. And he shuts and no man opens. Revelation 3, 8. I said before you an open door. And no man can shut it. And no man can shut it. And no man can shut it. No can shut it. The name opens impossible Therefore, every door that the enemy has closed against you, I decree them reopened now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Finally, the name of Jesus guarantees answers to our prayers. The name of Jesus is the covenant guarantee for answered prayers. John chapter 14 and verse 13 and 14. And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. John 16, 23 and 24. And in that day, ye shall ask me nothing. Very differently I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. Hitherto, if ye ask nothing in my name, ask, and I guarantee you shall receive, that your joy may be full. That is the seal of answered prayers in the kingdom. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Well, from henceforth, none of your prayers will return unanswered again. <laughs> None of your prayers will return unanswered again. Amen. None of your prayers will return unanswered again. Amen. In conclusion, be reminded that every truth of scriptures is valid for life but only applicable to those who believe. Blessed is she that believeth, for there shall be performance of those things which were told her from the Lord. It is your faith that defines your experience. What you don't believe, you are not entitled to experience. I pray that the name of Jesus, which has been revealed to you today, will remain an asset for life yeah. in your hand. Yeah. Lift up your right hand and give God thanks. Give him thanks. If anything ever came across to you in this message, give the Lord praise. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. For anyone that may be under any siege of satanic oppression. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be set free. Amen. 
For anyone under the siege of nightmares, spirit husbands, spirit wives, everyone suffering a molestation of the devil in one way or another, be loosed in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. At the name of Jesus, every issue bow of things in heaven. Angels bow to that name. When he brought his first begun to the world, he said, Let all the angels of God worship him. So angels that indwell heaven bow to him. No mortal man can say to God, What dwellest thou? He sets up kings and he removes kings at will. No devil can resist him, all the things underneath the earth. Therefore, whatever might be the source of anyone's affliction under the sound of my voice, be set free in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Everyone appointed to death by the spirit of infirmity, by the breakdown of any organ of the body, be made whole in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Everyone whose career and business is under siege, under siege, just struggling on how to come out, you can't find it. Now, I decree the prison doors open. Amen. I decree the siege of generational causes loosed. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Don't forget next Sunday is our covenant day of vengeance. Amen. In Isaiah 63 verse 4, the Bible says, For the day of vengeance is in my heart because the year of my redeemed is come. This is your year. Amen. Vengeance must answer in the camp of your enemy. Amen. So as to make this year your year indeed. Yes. Until vengeance answered in Egypt, Pharaoh won't let them go. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, under that prophetic service, all your enemies will be sent to permanent silence. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. 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 Amazing miracles have gone forth. Because his name shall be called one. So you are free. Amen. You are free. Amen. You will share your wonder testimonies this week. Amen. Amen. Somebody's landing an outstanding tear shedding miracle this week. Amen. Somebody's business is being recovered supernaturally this week. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody's home is being restored. Amen. Joy and harmony being restored. Amen. Tension deflated. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Come on, give the Lord a big hand of praise. Now, very quickly, there are individuals here today under the sound of my voice around the nations of the world who need to open their heart to Jesus and begin on this most exciting journey. Amen. Amen. And have a right to use the name of Jesus to command the supernatural at will. Can I hear your amen? amen. And have eternal life, have your name written in the book of life and make heaven at the end of a most Enviable adventure on the earth. Wherever you may be, you like me to pray with you to be born again. To have your sins forgiven. To have your name written in the book of life. I'll be so glad to do that now. Also, there are people that need to rededicate their life to Christ and come back on stream with Jesus. Standing in the middle of the road is not safe. So because you are neither cold nor hot, I'll screw you out of my mouth. You want to rededicate your life to Christ? You want to give your life to Christ afresh today? You want to repent of your sins and be saved? Wherever you are, lift up your right hand and I'll pray with you right now. And pray this prayer of faith after me. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I open my heart to you today. I open my heart to you today. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Forgive me my sins. Me my sins. Wash, me with your blood. Wash me with your blood. I believe you died for me. I believe you died for me. 
on the third day you rose again, that I may be justified. Right now, I believe my sins are now forgiven. I'm justified by your blood. I'm saved. I'm born again. I'm restored back to the faith. I'm not a child of God. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. By your grace, I will serve you all the days of my life. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Now, be blessed of the Lord in the name of Jesus. All that pray that prayer, I cover you now with the blood of Jesus. Remain covered until the day of his appearing. Sin shall no more have dominion over you. Amen. You will run this race to the end. Amen. You made the most of this journey. Amen. You shall not miss your steps. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Shall we all rise, please, wherever you are? Come on, give Jesus the biggest clap. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The seven days ahead of you and me will be the most awesome today in our spiritual adventure. Many will encounter God vividly. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This season shall not be wasted in anyone's life. Amen. It shall be a season to be much remembered in your entire life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. As the Lord lives, all the days in this season will be days of testimonies for you. Amen. While you are seeking the things of the kingdom, everything concerning you is falling into place. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The good news is untimely death is over in your household. But as you serve the Lord, he said, the number of your days, I, God, will fulfill. So your life is not in the hand of the enemy. It's not in the hand of the devil. It's not in the hand of medical doctors. I will fulfill the number. The number that I numbered. The number that he numbered. The number that he numbered. In the name of Jesus, no one under the sound of my voice today who care to engage in this season will ever bury any of their children. It shall be said of your household, they don't die young there. Sickness and disease will become alien to your lineage will not be mentioned anymore in your generation. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And so shall it be. Amen. I proclaim you blessed. Amen. Beyond your widest imagination. Amen. I proclaim your household blessed. Amen. Beyond your widest imagination. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The doors to the churches worldwide yes. will be open. Amen. And they are declared open. Amen. The doors to educational institutions are declared open. Amen. Everything that is eroding human dignity clears off the path. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. Can I tell you what revival does? It rewrites the stories of nations. Amen and they shall build the old ways. They shall repair the wasted cities. Desolation of many generations. Our men shall call them the peace of our God, the ministers of our God. By this awesome revival, the stories of nations shall be rewritten. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Endeavor to be a bona fide partaker of this first week. What to do with the first determines what happens with the rest. And deep out to be there, he said, whosoever first steps in, is made whole. Design your program. 